morning, folks. It's Saturday morning, and y'all know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm cooking breakfast for Lex. Uh, Connor's not here. He didn't spend the night last night. I don't know. Uh, we got in. It was late getting home last night. The traffic was. They had some kind of accident on the on the freeway, and it was all backed up. And uh, so it was after dark. We got home and. So anyway, Connor didn't show. So, Lex is having breakfast this morning. I'll eat with him. Gee, he just left her and Lou and Kim are going to a movie. It's, get this, it's Lou and Dan's anniversary. Yeah, listen here. Dan is not home. No, he's not on a job somewhere, out of town on a job. He's deer honey in South Texas. Yeah. And Lou, I don't think she's really upset. She kind of puts on she is. So the girls are taking Lou. I want all this stuff here in my grease. And Lex don't like this in his eggs. <laughs> I love it in my eggs. Little specks of bacon. But not Lex. And the girls are taking Lou, Kim, and G to a movie and then they're gonna go eat and Lex and I are gonna have breakfast here and then I gotta go to Tractor Supply in a little while and get some more milk for these little girls out here I got I've got enough for probably today and tomorrow and I could wait to Monday and get it if, if I, I'm gonna measure it out and make sure I got plenty if I do I can just stop on the way home from taking Lex to school Monday morning and get it to Tractor Supply and we pass right by that's my plan. Anyway, I'm gonna pour this grease up and get on with the eggs. The biscuits are cooking. So I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. There's nine eggs. And uh, he and I share it. Put some milk in here, salt, pepper. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's just the right amount. <laughs> yeah, I've added some salt and pepper and some milk and I'll uh, whisk it all up. Hope that'll splash it out of here. And I'm going to cook him some eggs, and I'll share them with him. Maybe give Heidi some. I got her plate over here. <laughs> uh, got her pills in it. She had a pretty good night last night. Uh, pretty good night. And uh, bacon and eggs, scrambled eggs. He'll get himself a drink. And he's set. And I've got my mess cleaned up. Heidi's had breakfast with some scrambled eggs also with her food. And she's happy. I'm happy. And we're going to go sit eat our breakfast. All right, I'm getting a little bit of a smile here this morning. <laughs> Not the big smile I, I love to see, but a little bit. She don't feel the best in the world, but she's not like too bad. She had a pretty good night. Uh, her and I got up this morning about four. She needed to go out and went out. She knew she needed to go. Woke me up and we went out. And uh, I stayed up. And uh, anyway, about seven I went out if little girls on that back patio started crying for breakfast about six, I guess that's about the time Tina was feeding them. And I said, no ma'am, we're gonna change your hours. <laughs> we're gonna wait till seven and then about four. It was Tina been feeding them and eating about four. Funny thing was, it's rainy yesterday evening, and we got home, it was dark, and I went out and fed up in the dark. And uh, Heidi and I, and I fed them right before I left. It was already six o'clock. So they went two hours over what they're normally going, you know, they go. 
And they were very upset when we drove up, I could hear them crying. So I went immediately and fed them their bottles. When I come back and feed up, they done went in their little crate by themselves and all curled up, cuddled up in there. So I just closed the little door so, you know, nothing can get in there to them or overnight or whatever. And they're fine this morning though, they're crying. Six o'clock, they want me to come out there. But anyway, they're all taken care of. Everything's good. Uh, like I say, Heidi had a little bit better night last night than she did the night before. I think maybe that moist air, and it's moist today. It's, it's not raining, but it's a little milk moisture in the air. It's, the sun's not shining. I'm not gonna keep her out much today. I think that affects maybe the fluid. Maybe it's on her lungs and around her heart. So many good prayers and well wishes from you guys. I appreciate it so much. Uh, uh, my friend sent the food she wanted me to try. It's no salt, and that's what the vet recommended. No, no sodium in it. And it came last night late, and we're going to start it today. Hopefully, she'll like it, and I can. I'll know what to order when I run and get running late. And hope that'll help bring some of the fluid off of her. She's not able to eat a lot of her little treats like she was. You know, she loves all the treats, but a lot of them got salt in them. She can't have it. So much finer little treats. I, I, I've got some stuff I'm going to do for her uh, on my own. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about that another time for her treats. Okay. Now we're going to go. We're running late. I've been after breakfast this morning. Uh, after breakfast, G and M got off. Uh, took you know Lou to the movie <laughs> and lunch or dinner for her anniversary because Dan's out of town. <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk about it, but she didn't mind. Uh, she, he'd already had it planned a long time, and when it came up, his boss come to him and said, "Hey, we got this deal going on at this particular date." He said, "Oh man, that's my anniversary." He come on and talk to Lou. She that's fine, you know. That's a, a, once a year or maybe a lifetime opportunity to go. The big big deer hunt in South Texas somewhere. Anyway, uh, he was excited to go. Anyway, they went to a movie. Lex had his breakfast. He's now coming down. He's watching TV. I said, I'm going to go out and feed up and run so late. But on the phone to the insurance company, guys, you know when you change insurance. And I'm changing mine. I wasn't really happy, happy with the folks I was seeing last year. So I'm going back to my old doctor. And uh, got to change the insurance to go back. And, and I was on the phone Thursday all evening, and it was raining, and the weather was bad, and the phone kept cutting me off. And the guy was so nice, he gave me, he says, call me back. That may be him now. All right, that wasn't the insurance man, I was hoping. <laughs> anyway, I kept getting cut off when I was talking to him. If I said, look, I'll call you tomorrow, the weather be better. I guess it's the weather. I made me my old phone. Yeah, <laughs> no, I blame everything on my phone. Uh, Anyway, I called this morning. I couldn't yesterday, was gone. And uh, he was tied up on another line. Supposed to get back to me. Anyway, anyway, enough of my problems. Let's go do feed up. Come on, birds. I like to feed them around the playground. I'll keep it all raked up. There won't be no chance of snakes and coming up around there. I'm coming, boys and girls. Listen, you're out of your late on you. He's mad. You're late, Paul Paul. What's the deal with you? What's the deal? Why are you so late? I've been on the phone. They own the insurance companies. You, you don't know nothing about insurance companies, Billy. You, you can't complain. Tell him, Granny. Yeah. We can just start dealing with insurance company, Bill. As you can see, it's rainy-fied. We'll get through here before it does rain. 
and uh, I'll be back to talk to y'all in a bit. That's what I like to see, all of them out here eating. And they'll scratch, and if they run up on a little snake, he's done for. If it's a big snake, they'll let me know. <laughs> He'll still be done for. It's a little bit ridiculous. I've never forgotten y'all yet. No, not at you either. But here y'all stand, let me know. I'm cutting. I will not tolerate this kind of behavior. No, 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 sir. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We ain't going to do it. No, not you either, little sweet baby girl. Billy Jean, don't act like me. I'm no better. You know better, sweetie. Let's go. Everybody, let's go. Come on, people. Move it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get the little dog in, rolling. Right, honey. I want to smile, but I want to smile so bad. Come on, Come on, Mary Goes. Go out in the pasture. Oh, come on. Come on, people. Come on, little wild ones. I'll let them out here in the back. As soon as I get the cows fed. And my big ones have got to stay in there until the surfing. I come out with them. I haven't had time to start my fence. I got it all stacked up. Got it. Hopefully, in a few days, I get to it. You're just a pig, girl. A pig. Yeah, all y'all pigs. They're all pigs, hey? They're all pigs. Look at them. They're pigs, baby. All right, Ivan. You chickens. I can feed y'all out here if you want me to. Hang on. You like your ride, don't you, baby? You got a smile for pump on. I love it. She don't feel the best in the world, but she's got a little smile today. Not a lot, but some. I love it. But I'm used to it. It's fine. Right, baby? I didn't let it. All right, I'm going to get some meat horse. Here I am, guys. Let's go over to the camp. I'll feed you at the camp, okay? been so busy, I ain't had time to come work my camp. I want to get started. The sun's trying to come out. I'm hoping it's going to burn it over. I see some dark clouds back in the southeast. A little spot of sun coming through. That's good. That'll make Heidi feel better, too. No, I'm not. Look, I already fed you. We're not just going to do this every day. We're not going to stop and argue about it every day. I'm serious. If every day you want to argue. You're going to argue with your papa. You shouldn't be arguing with your papa, okay? Y'all get hay after a while. There's Macho. Macho came out. Opie came out. Uh, Sophie's out. Cuddles and her little sister are out. Who knows where they're at, Heidi? They're out. They, they're outlaws, Heidi. They're little outlaws, all three of them. All right, we're going back in. I got to go take care of my little chicks. And uh, if sun stays out, I'm going to work in my, start working on our little girl's pen. Get the little pen fixed up. Got to get back in our rooster. Not going to tolerate it. Get in there. I'm inside that new building that's going to become the uh, single family home. I love that comment. I got to come in and cut these straps down. They, they were in here hanging some stuff from the ceiling. They don't need to be in here now. And yeah, we're going to get it fixed up nice. Someone said, you going to decorate it? You bet. Christmas is coming. I haven't got to have his decorations. I haven't can't have Christmas without some decorations. Uh, we'll get it fixed up. All right, Lex is going to try to handle those chairs that they couldn't use. The, you know, we set those chairs that was out here by the that G and I sat in. Remember the one I got hung up in? Y'all better stop that. Well, Connor got hung up in it. <laughs> I love it. Connor and Lex, I had, Lex had one and Connor had one. Evidently, Connor had mine. And it folded up on him. He stuck in it. So G got up a couple little more game chairs. And Lex is going to bring them out and try to hand them down to me. It may drop them. It's okay. I'll catch them. And I'm going to put them back out here in the yard. 
and maybe his VG gets caught in it the next time. Y'all better have fun right now because I'm going to dig him up here in a day or two and move him. That's right. And all that's going to be over with. They'll have all this area here. All this area here. All the way around. All this area. All the way up to that red bark to play in. And their little crate house will be sitting about where my little yellow chairs are. And I'll put a top on it. They can hop up and down if they want to, or they can go inside. And out here, somewhere in this area in here, not where little children play, but over in here, well, not right there either. Somewhere in this area, I'm going to build them a little, these little guys, a little play area. Like, well, they'll play all over the kids, I guarantee you. And a little cash, and they'll come out here, they're going to have fun with these two. But... They'll have their own little stuff to jump up and down on and climb on. And it may take me a little while to get all that done for them. But until then, they've got that stuff. <laughs> they've got that stuff. And that thing over there. And who knows what they could do at a swing. <laughs> okay. I've got the chairs down. Lex handed them down to me. And uh, I hope this is not the one that closes up. If it does, I'm going to be in trouble. Gee's gone. <laughs> she gone. And they're up for playing a game. Him and L.E., they'll never hear me. And you leave me alone. I don't need no, no assistance from you guys. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Come on. Okay. Here's my boy. Loves his papa. I'd rather you be in my lap than little girls. Them little girls. They rough. You know, <laughs> fine take off all right guys i'm just gonna sit here and kind of survey what i gotta do uh it's gonna be a simple process let me turn it around for you Got a post right down there where that board's at <laughs> here we go here we go i'm trying to talk to people i don't need all this mary ann I, get, I think it's right, Mary. Oh, I, I, I realized what this brown spot guys is. This is a brown spot. I remember Tina told me she had a little bobo, and Tina was putting was putting a peroxide. Little on. Bobo's gone now. With the, with the peroxide left the hair kind of a different color. Yeah, well, that's what it was. Anyway, I'm gonna set a post over there. Not a problem. I'll set two posts, one on each side where the gate goes. Not a problem. My, my problem's going to be, besides this, this is just one of them. This was a problem. Oh, that's so sweet. Man, you'll kiss your papa. Kiss your papa. It's so sweet. My issue, and I'll turn the camera around as soon as she moves out of the way. Good. It's going to be right there where that box is, that wooden box inside the house that's a lot of plumbing comes up in there and it's all insulated so i can't move that box so i gotta set a post as close to that box as i can and i'll fill in that space between the post uh and and the wall and so it's uh, if i come back this side of the post or the box that puts me on top of the septic line you can see it comes out right over there and goes this way so that's going to be the issue over there, but I'll do this side over here, get this side done and get the gate all hung. And then we will, okay, okay, do that other side. Baby girl, listen to me. Now, this chair was not brought out here for you guys. No, I'm serious. It wasn't brought out here for you. I love you. I love you, little girls. They, they used to pain. They are a pain, but they'll get a good home here. They'll have a big yard for these two little guys. Yes, you will. Yes, oh, I know it, baby. I know, so sweet. <laughs> yeah. I got to get them off that patio. They are a mess. They poop and pee everywhere. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. A lot of it. 
for two little girls. I don't know how y'all do so much. It's about fertilizing the garden with you two. <laughs> yeah, I put you on the garden for a day or two, be fertilized. Anyway, uh, that's my plan and I, I'll, I'll have you help me when we start. I don't think I'm gonna get it done today. It's clouding back up like it's gonna rain. I don't get started and have to quit. Leave stuff all out, my tools and stuff. Probably tomorrow Sunday, so we probably will start it Monday when we get back taking Lex. Hopefully it'll be clear weather that day. Uh, we get back from uh, taking Lex back to school. And it shouldn't be anything to interfere with that. I don't think. If the weather's good. And that's when we'll start this project. Yeah. Go, why don't you go over and bother him? Go get in the chair with him. He don't care. Funny thing was, and I'm going to cut, cut this off. I hope, hope you enjoyed this little video. Just showing something I did this morning. Funny thing was, they went in a little house. And old mama cat goes in there with them in that, on that warm hay. It was raining. And I come, you know, come out from feeding up. And I looked in there, and there they all curled up. And I didn't realize that she was curled up in there with them. Until, until I opened them up and let them out this morning. And here she walks out, as happy as she could be. <laughs> I love you guys. Hope y'all enjoyed this. If you did, share it with somebody. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, help subscribe. Go ahead. Lots of crazy stuff goes on here. I'll see you guys later. I love you.